Okay, hello everybody. Welcome to How Now Videos. We're going to dive into a series, a video series of taking Building Construction Illustrated, an absolutely phenomenal textbook for all things building construction. If you're going into architecture or contractor or project developer, um, definitely highly recommend this book. It has everything you really need to build in almost any application. We're going to dive into more residential right here, right off the bat. We're going to talk about aligning properly our foundation wall, our flooring system, and our exterior wall system, stacking the volumes of those appropriately. Um, and then we're going to talk a little bit more about detailing those out and doing some construction details on how all of those are connected. So stay tuned. I'm going to try and put out one of these videos each week as we go. So let's dive into it. Taking a look at my screen here on the right. I have detailed out a uh, basic exterior wall of 2x6 siding. I went into edit type, I duplicated a uh, just a generic wall, and then I went into edit structure, and I just added in 3 quarter inch thick for my finished uh, layer, for clapboard siding, membrane layer, etc. You can take a screenshot of this real quick if you are confused on how to set up the layers for uh, a basic exterior wall. I'm going to say OK on that for right now, for the sake of time. What I've done in level one then is with those layers, uh, I have drawn out a uh, just a quick 10 uh, by 5 um, shed. And if we want to just check that, we can just pop our extension lines over. So here's my 10. And then if I want to take a look at how wide I am, Right now, oh, I'm sorry, 10 by 6, 10 by 6. So I have my shed here, uh, basic walls. And from the architecture uh, tab, we bounce over to the view tab with the section, and we're creating our section through the wall and making sure that that doesn't uh, show too much. We just want to show just a small segment of that wall. And if I go to my section view right now, right click, go to view. Um, and I choose show fine detail. This is the exterior side because I can see my siding, my sheathing, my core uh, 2x6, and then my gypsum drywall. I'm going to actually flip that around because the page that we're going off of for Building Construction Illustrated is showing the exterior wall to the right and then our crawl space floor and interior side of the wall to the left. So to avoid confusion, I'm going to go back to level one, click on this view. I'm going to hit the little flip button on it to send it looking the other way. Now I'm standing here looking to my left, which means if I was standing there, my exterior side would be over here to my right. So I'm going to uh, go to that section view from the project browser down here. And here I can see what I have. I'm going to just take the opportunity to slide these levels away a little bit. And now I want to align my foundation with this edge right here straight down so we're going to have that aligned and then that way our sheathing we can actually uh, our siding we can actually wrap that down over that seam where the foundation wall meets the flooring system so I'm going to go to level one and here we're going to create the architecture tab with a wall and we're going to choose foundation 12 inch concrete. It automatically sends it down. So that's why we're in level one. So we can send it down to a crawl space elevation that I had previously made. And to do that, I had to go to my elevations and went to level. And I just drew one down here, renamed it, and made sure that it was at the depth that I wanted. Depending on where you are building, your depth will vary. The idea here is to get below the frost line so we don't have an upheave in the winter on our structure, which would then crack it and ruin its structural integrity. Potentially, we're going to draw this in level one, wall, foundation 12 inch concrete, and if I click on the finished space exterior, I can then offset it in. So delete that, negative 0.75 of an inch which will send it in. Oh, we got to do pick lines tool and let's 
pick on the line to the outside, and it should be making a foundation wall just inside of the outside of my first floor by three quarters. So let's check out how that looks. So that's our negative offset. So this actually, this overhang is the thickness of our siding. And that's what we would actually be bringing down uh, there. I'm going to undo that. And it just made an extra wall. There we go. Alright, so I have my concrete foundation crawl space. And I know it's atypical to have a crawl space in a shed. We're just making a small house. Just picture it that way. And let's go to section one. And here we go. So we can see that our siding just goes outside. And our sheathing is now flush with the concrete wall. Um, we're going to end up splicing in a floor system here. But for right now, we're just setting up our walls. Let's go and set up a uh, footing underneath this concrete wall. I like to do the footings from 3D. So I'm going to go into the Structure tab. And we're going to do a footing right here. I'm just going to slap it on. Typically, your footings are twice as wide as your wall, um, as far as the width. But uh, honestly, all you have to uh, keep in mind here is that the... Uh, size of the footing really depends on the soil bearing pressure that it's capable of pushing back up on the structure so if your soil was uh, fairly loose and wasn't able to push up very much you need more surface area uh, for that footing. I'm not an engineer but that is what I'm told. Alright so now over here in our Revit file uh -oh, my uh, properties went away. Let me get those back View, user interface, and let's get those properties back. There we go. Now I'm a happy guy. Let's uh, move this around. We need to throw in a flooring system, and we also need to align that flooring system with the outside edge of our concrete wall. Um, in other words, with the outside edge of our sheathing on our, <coughs> on our wall system for level one. So we're going to go and go to architecture. And we're going to end up doing a, a floor system. And that floor system will probably more easily be built uh, at level one here. And we could do pick lines. And when we do this pick lines, we can do the same thing. We do a negative 0.75 inch offset to just make sure that we're throwing in. If I click on the outside, edge of the line that I'm picking and it'll throw my negative offset to the inside. I just do that once all the way around and uh, hit the check mark and if we want to quickly highlight that flooring system oh, I'm not seeing it oh I made it down crawl space level Where is my flying system? Here's my sketch. Oh, I see. It's down here. It's in the crawl space level. We'll move that up to level one. Apply. And we see it's sitting below the top of the concrete. There's a couple ways we can manage this. But when I set up my levels, I set up between the east elevation and the. Uh, I'm sorry, in the east elevation, I set up level 1 and level 2 to be 8 feet away from each other. I can modify that and make it a little taller and send this floor system up, but I'm going to have it sit right here. And instead, um, I'm going to move my concrete down. Now, before I move it down, right now I have a 12 inch generic flooring system. What I'm going to do is first edit this flooring system. To represent what it needs to represent so my thickness is correct and then I'll snap my concrete foundation down. The good news is my floor system when I did the negative three-quarter offset it offset it correctly inside so now the joists are flush especially the band joist on the outside is flush with the concrete wall on the outside and the sheathing on the outside. 
So let's edit the type of this floor. Let's duplicate it so we don't override it. And let's just call it a 2 by 10 uh, wood finish floor system. You can call it whatever you want. Say OK. Structure, edit the structural material. Let's say that that is our our soft wood will be spruce pine and fir and there's a lot of options you have for this though so look at your spec chart on that and nine and a quarter 0.25 the thickness of the 2 by 10 let's insert a substrate of plywood um, whoa it's tight there we go okay and our thickness. You could go three quarter. I think you could also go half inch. Um, I don't think that's a problem. A lot of times people like plywood instead of OSB as well. And let's just double check. If we look uh, real quick here under uh, let's go to building construction illustrated and just consult uh, right now. It's going to be uh, chapter four is the flooring system. Um, and let's just take a look. Just to verify these details. And as we detail this out, we can look a little bit closer at it. I think it's four, two, six. Ah, there we go. Subfloor C432. And let's just verify that we're doing this absolutely but here you get a pretty good example of the mud sill anchored to the concrete foundation wall our floor joists and then our band joists or rim joists going around the outside here um, and then on top of that is our plywood sheathing um, our frame is going to be this connection here where our bottom plate for our wall is going to sit right on top of that and uh, in this one here it's more of like a balloon framing where the uh, walls are connected to it, and we're not going to do that. Um, we're also not going to notch out our concrete foundation to let our wall sit on there, our floor sit on there. All right, four, two, six. Is that it? Four, three, two. So we got to go down to four, three, two. All right, and I would think. 16 inch on center, half inch would be just fine. Let's just verify this for the sake of the video. We have our span, yeah, half or five eighths. Um, 16 inches on center. If you are going to go uh, 24 inches on center, you need to go five quarters or seven eighths. Um, you could also go around 20, like a little overkill would be three quarter. Um, we'll spec out a half inch. I think that's totally fine. Um, you know, let's gonna spec out everything else that we need here. Um, using six diameter, eight penny count nails for thicknesses, three three quarters, and eight penny nails for panels, um, seven, seven eighths and thicker. By blocking for the seams, obviously, so it doesn't curl up. Um, yeah, so we're going to go half inch on that. Let's just go back to three, two, six. Come on, baby. It's jumping around too much. Nope, oh, wasn't three, two, six. All right, 311. How did I not know that? One of my favorite bands. Okay, so verify that half inch is good. That was just an example of how nice that book is. It has everything you need in it. Highly recommend the copy. So then above that plywood, we are going to have our finish floor. And so here we're just going to call that finish one, material category. We can just say 
flooring. Let's see if anything comes up. Oak flooring. That's what I have in my house. We'll say okay. Thickness on that. Let's just call it three quarter inch as well. And that could vary by product. Um, if you're doing tile or what have you. Uh, make sure you account for a layer of thin set in there. Maybe about a sixteenth to an eighth if you had a uh, tile flooring. And um, let's see. Yeah, that's our layers. I'm going to say okay. So we're at ten and a half thick on that. Okay. And it changes our, our thickness of our floor. The uh, walls here then. Let's see if we can do just a quick attached top base to this floor. And that worked out well. Um, so let's go into 3D. And so we have our band joist on there. Um, and what we are going to spec out later, as you'll see in our section view, we still have to throw on our mud sill, our plate that's going to be bolted to the foundation that our floor system is going to sit on. Um, so we'll add that in later. But right now we have the main elements to keep everything lined up. And if we look at our section view, what we've created here is, is a masterpiece. We have our concrete foundation. Um, I want to show that footing. Bring that guy down. Uh, down a little further. And we can edit the width on that footing later. We have that. We have our, our levels here. Now I, I don't really want to see these levels anymore, so I'm going to highlight them, right click, hide in view, category, and get that out of there. But now we have our footing, our foundation, our floor system stacked, and our wall system stacked. I'm going to end the video here, and then later we can detail out um, a little bit more. We'll do the roof at the very end, I think that will be easier. Um, but we'll detail out these connections as we go, and we'll do it in smaller chunks. All right, thanks a lot for watching, and enjoy the rest of your day. Don't forget to save and subscribe.